Jesus said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. Evangelist David Bybee has been called and anointed by God to fulfill the scripture. Now, let's join Evangelist David Bybee in the worship service at the Crossroads Community Church, Carthage, North Carolina. Praise the name of the Lord. We're here to worship and exalt the name of Jesus Christ today. We welcome those of you joining by television. You'd get a whole lot more out of it if you were here at Crossroads, but that's all right. Uh, we're here to exalt Christ, and no matter what your needs are today, I'm praying that before you leave this building today, God will meet those needs. He's go he can and he will if we believe. He says, ask believing, doubting nothing. He said, I'll give you the very desires of your heart. Mark eleven twenty four. the very desires, not just your needs, but he said, I'll give you the desires. And that's Jesus Christ talking, the Son of God. I believe that. And I've seen him do it because it was my desire to be healed. It was my desire to go on to serve Christ. And for those of you that don't know, I had terminal cancer. The doctor said it. Chapel Hill said it. Three laboratories said it. But God didn't say it. And praise God, I choose to listen to that doctor because he is the doctor. He's not a doctor. He's the doctor, church. Right now, put your hands together. Make welcome Crossroads Community Church Choir as they sing for God's glory. Praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We can't stop. We can't give in to flesh. You can't give in to the devil. You cannot give in to the world. You just have to keep on. And when you keep on standing, when you, Paul says when you've stood and you've done all you can, just keep standing. Because God will show up. God will be there on time. He will take care of everything. You've got to remember that you are a creature. You are created by the Creator. You're a creature. God told me to go into all the world and preach to every creature. Preach the gospel to every creature. You're creatures. Those of you joining by television, you're creatures. Now, I know that I was taught in school that creatures are things that crawl around on the ground. But, you know, when you study God's Word and you learn, I said, why would God want me to go preach to bugs? <laughs> he said to every creature, and then he showed me, he said, I'm the creator. You're the creatures. I've created you. And church today, we can't give up. We've got to trust in the Lord, and he'll turn the things around. If you have your Bibles, I want you to turn with me over to the book of Proverbs. Now, I've, I've, I've spoken on this uh, several times over the years. And, uh, but I think that the Lord wants me to go somewhere else because I don't have that marked <laughs> Proverbs. There it is. Chapter three, if you will, this is, I was going to Kings. I, first of all, I was headed to first Kings this morning. Then I was going to second Kings this morning. And now I'm ended up in Proverbs and I don't know where we're going to go after this, but the Lord, as I was reading this morning, I had no earthly idea that they were going to sing that song. I had no earthly idea that the choir was even going to sing, period. And that's the honest to goodness truth. I'm telling you I didn't. And then I didn't know what trust in the Lord and he will something. He will show up or he will turn it around for you. But Proverbs 3, chapter 5, or chapter 3, verse 5. Read with me if you have your Bibles this morning. If you don't have your Bible, reach in the pocket of the church, a seat in front of you, the pew in front of you, get a Bible. Or raise your hand and the ushers will get you a Bible. Those joining by television at home, get your Bibles out. Wipe the dust off them. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Doesn't say anything about your mind, does it? Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lead not to your own understanding. We have an understanding. We feel like we know what's best for ourselves. We feel like we know what's best for our families. We feel like we know what's best. Trust in the Lord. How many of you are planning to go to your job site tomorrow or earlier? How many of you are planning to work tomorrow for a salary or a wage? How many of you are planning to get a paycheck at the end of the week, or at the end of the two weeks, or at the end of the month. How many of you are planning to take that paycheck to pay your needs, provide your needs, and to pay your bills? Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not to your own understanding, to thine own understanding. And it's so easy for us to Get away from trust in God. It's so easy for us to get away from trust in the Lord. It's so simple for us to start placing our trust in the worldly affairs, placing our trust in the, 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 the world, and trusting ourselves in our ability. But God is in control. You have absolutely nothing. I have absolutely nothing without God's blessings upon it. And I want to read just a little bit more. And it says, be not wise. Or 